This is for you to all specialists that comes out of chapter three concerning circular functions and it's how to work out implied domains of composite circular functions. Okay, so I've got this um, and outside of the sign it then goes through an inverse cos and before that it goes through a minus two x. Okay, so x goes through minus 2x, then goes through sine, then goes through inverse cos. Okay, what would go into a sine is minus pi on 2 to pi on 2, inclusive. What would come out of a sine is negative 1 to 1. So if that can go into a cos, negative 1 to 1, what would come in there would be 0 to pi and that's because an inverse cos looks like that and I put in negative a positive 1 through to negative 1 and what comes out is 0 to pi so if this is what I put in minus 2x has to go between minus pi on 2 and pi on 2 so minus x goes between minus pi on 4 and pi on 4. And x, that's pi on 4, and that's minus pi on 4 when you divide by negative 1. But that gets turned around. So x is, is bigger than minus pi on 4 and less than pi on 4. So our actual domain, our domain is minus pi on 4 to pi on 4 inclusive and our range is 0 to pi so that makes d the right answer